Good day, good day! Ha <laughs> ha The honk are ya! Welcome to Roverland! My name's Dan O. I'm your friend, and we are checking out corgis. Yes! So today's video is going to be about corgi number, well, 417 and 477. Yeah! So let's talk about that. Uh, let's just take a look at this is this is my best model that I have of this uh, This would be a 47 477 as far as I know uh, You know the research on these is kind of hard here in the States So uh, that's why I'm putting these videos together. So hopefully uh, People abroad can uh, give me some more information about them. All right, let's get started. So, 417, 477, uh, Corgis, uh, 143rd scale, and they were a Corgi dog breakdown service. That's what they were called. And what they started out with was uh, 417 with these style wheels, 1960 to 1963. Maybe up to 65, I'm not really sure on that. But it is a Series 1, it is a Wrecker, and now this one's missing the uh, boom and the little plastic uh, uh, hood part. I'm, I don't know what they call that, but anyway. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is my early version. This is would be the uh, 417. Uh, this is uh, in really bad shape. I bought this in a lot. I'm going to tag the video uh, about the wheel variations where we took a look at this uh, this uh, car and how I used O-rings to put on the wheels so my cars don't have to sit on their rims, you know? So, yeah. So that's what it would look like. That's what the underside looks like, the inside. And then it has just a little, uh, I don't know if that's going to come out, it has just a little plastic, uh, somebody done glued that in there. They were re redoing this, so, uh, you know, it's like uh, messing around. And I bought them, I, I think it was three of them. We'll see the other ones in the other videos. But anyway, so that's what, as far as I could find out, is the 417 breakdown unit and uh, breakdown service. So the next uh, years, and I believe it was 1966, they got revised and uh, basically the same. Oh, this is how I came to this other deduction too. Now they all were uh, gray bases and yes, I think I paid $24 for that. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but anyway, but as you see, the uh, writing is a little bit different. So the first ones just had this number on there. The 417, number 417 just had this one. And then the later revised ones, 477s, came with this one here that came with the 21101 slash 59. So that's how I deduced, plus the wheels, and they don't look like they've been tampered with course you know it could that base could not come with this but I mean it's got the uh, mechanism for the winch so you know I'm thinking this comes together that way but what do you say what do you say so <laughs> there you go I'm not I'm not trying to sell it and claim it's something and it's not but that's kind of where I come up with that oh let's drop stuff all right all right, so then, so then they came out with this with the concave wheels or these uh, machined wheels. Those are cast wheels, and then these are machined wheels. So this is a pretty nice representation. Um, doesn't have the toe hook, but it's pretty clean. It's pretty good. Uh, I, I'm not really sure about these tires. Uh, they could be a little wonky. I'm not really sure, but they're hard. These are all hard. So this one's got the um, toe hitch on the back, the uh, boom, I guess, what you'd call boom, that's on there. 
I don't know, it's, you know, it's just kind of attached on there. Not really sure exactly how it goes. I don't know, is that supposed to have holes or what? But, uh, anyway, oh, cause see now this one, this one's got these little bumps on it so it can, uh, fit in there. Yeah. Yeah. I am not sure. I, this one seems, I thought this one was one of these because it's got the, uh, you know, that might be something totally different. Oh man. I don't know. These guys, these guys are so hard to, to look up. I guess I thought this one was this one because it, the numbers matched on the bottom. That's why I thought this one was that one, but it doesn't have that, uh, part doesn't seem like it would be, uh, attached there does it yeah i'm not really sure what's going on there well anyway anyway so let's take a look at the boom now this one's got an aftermarket uh uh hook on there that that i know is not real because that or uh not real yeah it's fake not original because this is an original one here you can see it tell by that casting and and the size and the pictures that that that's a real one there you know so anyway we're just taking a look it is, uh, it's a spring loaded little bugger and, uh, it has a little hole in the middle of the axle there. So you can just spin that wheel and, uh, wind it up back and forth and stuff like that. Now this one, uh, not too bad a shape. Like I say, the reproduction, reproduction, uh, hook there, but it also has, look at these wheels. Is there, uh, some reproduction wheels there yeah not really sure what the story is there I'm not sure if those are the original corgis or if those are aftermarket corgis they look pretty nice so I'm assuming those are pretty pretty uh, new and and uh, you know replicas so here's another one that I've got another nice nice one still has the same concave wheels there uh, pretty nice, uh, deal. This is the, I don't know about this wheel. This wheel seems a little wonky too, <laughs> but not quite the same. Now this has got a suspension damage there. They know what, what happened. They took a hit to the front end there. That, look at that front bumper. But anyway, so, uh, before we look at the last one, I, I go to, over to this chest brows, chest brows. I'm not sure how you want to say that, but anyway, I went over and looked at these guys here and they do a lot of stuff with Corgi and uh, you can kind of look up, you know, different Corgis, uh, the number 19, uh, you know, the 417, stuff like that. And they will give you some price guides on that. And um, so um, from um, 09 to 2014, these were under eighty dollars. They were saying the the first edition with the with this kind of wheels here, the uh, the uh, cast wheels, and then uh, from sixteen to current, twenty sixteen to current, they were getting up to be a hundred dollars plus. Now these here with the concave wheels, oh nine to twenty twelve, they were ranging around fifty to sixty dollars. And then from 2013 on up to 2020, they were a hundred bucks plus. And I'm, you know, I'm sure that those are, uh, you know, uh, mint condition plus plus a plus. And this has got a nice little light. I, yeah, that does come off of there, so we can kind of see the originality of of that. I don't know. This is kind of <laughs> all these. I can't get an unmolested one. This one's got some kind of spacer or something in there, but this is a this is a cap to it. Now, interestingly enough, and I couldn't find any uh, information about this. I didn't know if it was first gen or second generation, but this has got a blue background, and it's the Corgi Dog Breakdown Service. Now there are yellow ones yellow caps with yellow backgrounds and I I couldn't find any variation if those are older or newer or this or that or anything like that but they all look the same 
the the uh, decal or the sticker is the same. It just it's blue background instead of uh, or yellow background instead of the blue one. So there you go. That's kind of that there. But uh, very nice that whoa whoa sticker shock twenty six bucks. I might have paid that. Yeah. I think I might have found that in the wild. It's got a sticker on it. I think I might have found that in the wild. I don't remember when. I get hit on the head a lot, you know. <laughs> Cheese balls. Uh, how am I supposed to remember all this stuff, huh? But anyway, so there you go. Now, this this model, um, I think they ran up to about, oh, 1969 or so. And it only came in this. Only came in the red. Only came with a yellow cap, as far as I know. There was a variation in the uh, signage there. Uh, and then, so no whiz wheels. So it didn't come out with uh, with this kind of wheels. It didn't it never, never came out with this kind of wheels or anything like that with the whiz wheels on the bottom. Never did anything like that. But I did see a different style of wheel and I looked through my whole collection and I don't have any and I didn't mention it in that video uh, that I'm going to try to post at the end there. The uh, solid concave, huge, uh, they're almost like uh, Moon Eye, Moon Eye's wheels. If you're here in the States, you can look up Moon Eye's, Google Moon Eye's and it kind of reminds me of Moon Eye's wheels. But uh, yeah, that's a different kind of uh, hub and uh, I don't have a variation of it. So there you go. That's about it. That's about all I've got. So 1966 this got revised into this uh, number 477. Uh, I guess there's like three variations. I'm not not totally sure. These uh, came in shadow boxes and um, with, with uh, a window I believe. And uh, you guys are going to come on over to Facebook and you're going to show me yours in the box. <laughs> I know Roy, he likes showing me over there. So go over to Roverland and check it out because hopefully he'll post his uh, collection of uh, uh, the number 417 and number 477. So then we can kind of put some more answers to it. But this is what I've got. And uh, I hope you guys got some uh, good info and some added info and you guys can sleep at night and they have, don't have to worry about any kind of weird viruses or anything like that. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it. I'm out of here. Thank you very much for joining me. Join me on Roverland on Facebook and on Instagram, Roverland channel. And... Uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up on this video. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Tell everybody. Yeah, come on over. Subscribe to Roverland YouTube channel. All right, that's going to be it for me. I want to wish you guys a happy Rover Day.